Hi, my name is Joni. I want to show you a self-treatment technique that can be useful in softening up tightness through the abdominal area, particularly the psoas area. So I'm going to have you take the ball and place it underneath you so that you're lying on top. And we're going to place it somewhere between your hip and your rib cage, just to the side of your belly button. It's going to be nice and easy. This area can be a bit tender. And you're going to shift your weight or move around as much as you need to in order to find a spot that feels tender, tight, or sore. Once we find that area of tenderness or soreness, then we want to wait, remembering that it takes consistent, gentle pressure for four, five, or six minutes for the tissues to be able to fully let go and release so that you get long-term results as opposed to just temporarily feeling a bit better. It's important to use our breath to help facilitate the release. So as we breathe in, we always want to breathe right to where we're feeling the tenderness. And as we breathe out, letting our body soften over the ball by letting our body sink right into the table or right into the bed. It's important to be aware of intensity. Anything that's too much or too intense, even if we're telling ourselves to relax and it's okay, our bodies will still tense up against it because it perceives it as a threat. So we want it to be gentle, soft, and easy. So if we do find a spot that does feel too intense, we want to shift our position and work around that area of intensity. One of the other ways that we can modify the intensity when we're self-treating this area is through the position of our leg. So whatever side that we have the ball on that we're treating, that correlating leg, we're going to bend our knee and bring our leg up beside us. That's it. Just to where the intensity is eased off a bit. And again, that modified leg position is going to be different for everyone. So just shift to wherever it feels right to you. So when this area gets tight, it tends to tug on our low back area and can give us pain. can also give us disc problems. can also change the position of our hips or how our pelvis is aligned. So by keeping this area soft and loosened up, takes the pressure off our back and helps to keep our pelvis in good alignment. So certainly you would not want to do this technique if you're pregnant. I've had recent surgery, history of hernia, I have an aneurysm. Essentially, want to be medically clear before you self-treat this area. Mm -hmm.